Hi there, it's Peter here. You're watching the GreenSock 101 free online course for front-end developers and designers where you can learn a lot about GreenSock API and web animations in 60 minutes. In this video, you will learn how to animate multiple objects, how to create a simple timeline, how to add twins to a timeline and how to overlap them with the previous twins. What if we wanted to animate all the elements in with a slight delay? So one after the other, we want to animate the H1, the intro, image, H2, and the image, uh, the list items as well. So how would we do it with the twin light? Firstly, let's have a look at the hard way. Okay, so we would create a variable for all the elements we want to animate, and then create a twin, individual twins with the delays for all of them. Now we have five twins, we'll change the method to from, we wanna animate it from that value, so we'll change it to from, then we animate in the individual items, the duration 0 0.3, we're animating it from a slight top offset, 15 pixels, and also we need to fix this, my bad spelling, so that will be auto alpha zero, out, oh my spelling's Pretty bad today, come on. <laughs> and then we've got is power one is out and the delay is 0 0.2 and it's growing by 0 0.2 all the way to the last twin, which has a delay one second. Now in the browser, you'll see all items coming into the sequence, into the view in a nice sequence as we want it. But as you can see, it's a lot of code and we can do a little bit better, we can make our life easier by including the timeline light. So let's include timeline light and see how we can simplify the code. We'll go again to the cdnjs.com and grab the link to the timeline light from here. Okay, the first link here, timeline light.min.js. We'll copy and paste it inside of the index and we'll include it right after the twin light. The order doesn't really matter as long as it's all before our main JS, okay? So we could easily firstly load the timeline and then twin light. The result is the same. And now let's simplify the code. We still want to include all the variables because we want to target all the elements. So we won't delete them, but we'll comment all the other twins out. And then we'll create our timeline here, okay? So firstly, we'll set up a new variable which will be our timeline. So TL is the most common. If you're using just one timeline, call it TL. And the syntax is new timeline light and brackets. Okay, so this is how we create a new timeline light. And now we can add our twins to this TL variable. Okay, so the adding twins to the timeline is quite straightforward. We'll just include the name of the timeline and then we'll copy and paste all the twins, okay? So all we're doing here is just including tl dot and then straight away from twin. And we can chain them one after the other. So we could just grab the second one, paste it below and have it one after the other like this. We can repeat the same thing for the following three twins just chain them one after the other from another from twin and the last twin goes here. One thing to note, there is no comma at the end, no semicolon, it's just a dot from and chaining it like you used to from jQuery chaining, okay? At the end is a semicolon and this is how we adding twins on the timeline light. If we review this in a browser, you'll see that there are still the delays that we apply to the twins happening. So that's why the animation is not smooth, it's not really flowing, because we still have the delays on the individual twins. Okay, so we'll select all the delays and we will remove all of them. Delete these, delete the comma and delete the last the delay. And this should look much more closer to the final animation we are after, okay? There's no delays, one twin's happening after the other. And to make it even better, we can bring 
individual twins and overlap them with the previous twin to make the animation even smoother. We'll leave the first twin as it is, but at the end of the second twin, so outside of the object defining which attributes we want to animate, we'll just write comma, and then in a quote, we'll type in minus equals 0.15. Okay, so this will bring and start this twin 0.15 seconds earlier than the original start of the twin. Okay, so we'll copy and paste that to all the following twins. So all we're doing here is to making sure that the following twins are overlapping by 0.15 with the previous twin. And if we refresh the page, we'll see that the twins happening in a nice sequence. We'll keep exploring the GreenSock API in the following video. But if you want to download the working files and follow me step by step and also watch the whole course without the annoying YouTube ads, then hop onto my website and sign up for free. The link is in the description and I'll see you in the next video.